It's time for Speakeasy with Jerry Elsey. Thank you for joining me today. With the change in the weather, we certainly are uh, more in the mood for the wool and the sweaters and maybe some of the things that you have seen forecast for uh, fall and winter. Of course, down here in Alabama, we're always later getting our cool weather. Mm -hmm. uh, well, earlier. No, what, what am I trying to say? Later. Later. Okay, I got that right. Peggy Strickland is my guest today, and she has recently been to New York, and she should be uh, versed in what the New York fashions look like. What were you impressed with when you went to New York? Oh, I was impressed with so much, I just don't know where to start. Um, I, I love this year's fashion look. There have been a couple of years recently that I haven't liked, but everything about this year I like. A lot of um, good, bright colors. And I guess one of the things I like the most is my pet thing in the whole world, which is a hat, is just very, very strong this year. So a lot of hats in New York. All right, and, and the ladies are wearing them? Yes. Even down in the South? Yes, they are. I, have, I see them more and more. Uh, they're stronger in the North, I'll have to admit that. But, uh, and I, even uh, television shows, I think, sometimes are a forecast of what is in fashion. If you'll check out the, the primetime television shows, you'll see all the women wearing hats. Okay, especially the soap operas. That really is a forecast of, That's you know, right. what people are going to wear. Mm -hmm. All right, I, you know, I don't want to take away any of your time because I see that you've got a lot in store for us this half hour. Right. Well, should we start with some of the pictures and then get yeah. the live mm -hmm. things? Maybe that would be uh, the good way to do this. Let's see if we can get a focus on... Uh... Okay. All right, <laughs> this camera. Okay. okay. We have a focus here. All right. The, one of the biggest trends is the big coat. Now, these are the two basic colors that are going to be in. This is called Couture Canary, or Taxi Cab, whichever you choose. And this is Cobalt Blue, or Sapphire Blue, it's being called. But those are the two biggest colors, along with Winter White, uh, that you'll see. And you'll see a lot of big coats this year. Uh, and, and we don't, won't see those for another month or two, but uh, when winter does come, look for these big, luscious colors in coats. Then there's another sapphire blue coat, just to show you another uh, variation. And we won't forget uh, pastels even. Uh, here's a beautiful shade of pink, and, uh, um, just about the shade that Jerry has on today. But again, these big coats. Uh, the man tailoring is going to be big as evidence still. That's been on strong for uh, several seasons now, and it's still going very, very strong. Uh, the jackets are going to be much, much longer. You notice uh, they're, they're not unconstructed as they have been in the past. They are tailored, which is the difference. It's, uh, the men's look is now uh, tailoring, and that's what's making it a men's look. It's not quite as mannish looking this year, but the tailoring is there. That's the difference. This is, oh, I love this. This is a Liz Claiborne. Now, this is a little bomber jacket, which is, a, is not the big jacket, but this was very big in New York. You saw this in every color under the rainbow. There was only one color I could not find because it was sold everywhere, and that was the sapphire blue. So there'll be a lot of sapphire blue bomber jackets running around loose this, this season. Uh, now, this is what I'm talking about, this short little blue jacket. Uh, and here's another blue in a, a plaid. Uh, and again, look how long. Look at the length. This is almost a three-quarter length coat. This one's not quite as long, but it's very, very big. Loose fitting. Uh, I guess I should have mentioned that shorter jacket was, it was an unconstructed look for a short person. They don't need this big look. This is not quite as big. It, it will is, swallow them. It will swallow them. That short little bomber jacket would be perfect. It was big, but it was not the long line. Now here we come again with one that's a little, a little shorter, but still, still got the big look to it. So if you're short, you have to keep that in mind. You have to keep your proportions going. You, you can't be swallowed by it. And again, this is the men's, men's look with the variation of textures that they've used. I don't know whether you can pick that up, but it's not a real men's look, men's look, but it's uh, a feminine men's look. Okay, Peggy, <clears throat> as far as the hairstyles that the women, maybe, uh, I was just thinking that about the pictures with the men's look, that the women still look feminine. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're doing their hair in a feminine way, or uh, there's just a look there right. that, that separates. It's them. not a very mannish haircut. They are, the haircuts are shorter, if you're in style, uh, but it, they don't have to be they're so short that this, it looks like a man. Okay, Peggy, we need to take a break. We'll be back with more information right after this message. Yesterday, and she's recently been to New York and 
certainly knows about New York fashions, uh, but fashion in general. And I know Peggy well enough to know that uh, she would not give something today that would not be good for Selma, Alabama also. And mm -hmm. what would be the point? Okay, yeah. what are we looking at now? Sweaters are going to be very, very big this season. Uh, you'll see all colors of sweaters and all styles of sweaters. They're very big and very colorful, as you see here, these hand knits. You'll also see sweater dressing, the long line, which is just makes it look like one big sweater. This is that's a what very, you've got on. That's what I've got on, a very, very big look in New York. And here are some variations of it, all the different colors that you will see. Whoops. <laughs> are these good for several years? I mean, I know. think so, yes, very much. I think they'll be in for, uh, they were beginning to come on last season, and I think we'll see them for at least one more season and perhaps two, although this is really a classic line. This is something that will never be totally out. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't need to get rid of it in your wardrobe. More colors, and look at the different ways they can wear it with the beads or belted. You don't have to belt it if your waistline is not your strong point. Don't All right, let me ask you something. We have a lot of long skirts. I yes. mean, so long they're even to the ankle. Right. What about shoes? They are getting and shorter. Okay. The, the heel is flat or very, very high. They were two extremes, those three-inch mm -hmm. spikes. Remember how hard those mm -hmm. were to walk in? Yes, those are, are all over New York and the flats are everywhere. But how do we determine? The longer the skirt, the lower the heel. The okay. higher the skirt, the higher the heel. It's an okay. easy, easy rule of thumb. This is a very colorful uh, sweater dressing that we have here. And notice uh, this look with the shawl is, is beginning to show a little bit of a resurgence. We had that several years ago uh, and it's coming back. And here we have a two-tone sweater dressing. And almost a little French girl look with this tie. Mm -hmm. And you'll see a lot Peggy, of that. I want them to notice, too. Black stockings, black right. shoes are really in. Just keep that line going. The same color, the colored stockings will be very strong. You'll see a lot of black stockings this year. It's also slimming to keep the colors oh, yes. going down. Absolutely. The same way. And here we have a one last one with the sweater. And look how big this sweater is. They're using the sweater as a coat, more or less, as a jacket. So, and then this the other one is just a little sweater vest. So that's two ways of working with your sweaters, and those will both be very big looks. Um, I'm just, I'll show one picture of the leathers. I have several. This is going to be a uh, strong statement coming on, and now I don't know how practical leathers are in the South, but there's a lot of leather out there, slacks, uh, dresses, and skirts. There are all, <coughs> excuse me, also a lot of imitations, and it's okay. A mm -hmm. lot of the young girls are going to the imitations because right. they can't possibly afford the letters That's and right. they look real cute in them. Absolutely. Now we have all the different blouses that are going to be strong this year. I love that. Now see this tie? It's a man's look, but it's a feminine man's look. I love that. And here we have two variations of the tie. Again, this is the French schoolgirl look, I call it. And then the blouson, the, the dropped waistline. And here are just some styles of dresses that you'll see. Again with this tie. Whoops, wrong way. There you go. Uh, and here we go. This rounded skirt, that's why I have this one in. You'll see a circular skirt coming on. And here we go. See the, uh, another circular skirt and all the colors of the circular skirt. You'll see this a little more coming on strong. We have one to show. Okay. I imagine a lot of the ladies need to get out some fashion magazines and look to see what goes with what because you, you're going to have to be careful when you mix these colors. Now, the things... Peggy, the two colors she has on today go very well together, but you can really make some mistakes. Right. Well, this, this has a blue shading to it, and that's why I can blend it with this blue. And this is something that I notice an awful lot in New York. A scarf tied around the neck once, twice, and once again, just uh, with a little knot. And that's, it's a very good way to bring in a color at your neck without wearing jewelry. This is an inexpensive way to say to the world, hey, I know what's in fashion, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Okay. Next. So, all righty. Now let's go to the pants. I tell you what, they're coming on very, very strong again this year. Uh, so we have, uh, well, let's see. Okay, again with the man's look. See that, that 40s trouser? I love uh, it. I do too. A uh, very comfortable pants. And you'll even see cuffs and men's shoes will be very big. I do, you know, I just love Betty Davis and Catherine Hepburn. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, this look is very strong. I'll just run through this very quickly. Mm -hmm. Big look and, and uh, shorter pant length, wider, fuller but shorter uh and colored socks i noticed colors oh you would the amazing the colors they put together in new york it was just it was really fun to see mm -hmm. uh and this is another now this is the other big color and i just started it with the pants and notice the, the length of these pants 
uh, the winter white. This is our third big color. You will see a lot of winter white, and I'll just go through these quickly because we don't have a lot of time. But these are all the different, the sweater dressing, uh, all the different ways that you can wear winter. They are just beautiful. And so anybody who looks good in white should run out quickly and get something in winter good. white. A uh, person with <coughs> dark coloring, blue, green eyes, dark hair, you would look good in uh, white, off-white. I would think but you would look blonde? Good. Blondes don't look good in off-white. That is not their strong color. So don't, go, go, so don't go out and buy it just because it's... If it's, you look good in it, yeah. you should run out and buy it. Yeah, okay. A blonde would look good in this shade of blue, so she mm -hmm. could run out and buy, buy this, I would say, okay. or variation of it. Uh, accessories are going to be very, very, very important. And fun. Year. And fun. And this will update you very easily. Uh, so when we, uh, all right, now look at the beret. This is a very strong hat coming on. And evening hats for women, and believe it or not, evening gloves. Can you believe these gloves? Uh, more and more, I saw a lot of these in New York, and the wide belts are going to be in for people who have a good waistline. Art Deco, rhinestones, chokers, uh, pins for the lapel, uh, just beautiful, beautiful jewelry. And I'll just, necklaces, earrings, rings, all of these are very Art Deco and very in. And big handbags, and this is the gal who's got it all together. Notice this pin she's got on the lapel of her jacket. She's got on a hat, wide belt. She has it all together. Okay. okay. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this message. Today on Speakeasy with our fashion update and the New York fashions. Uh, Peggy, mm -hmm. you've added something. Yes. I, you're not, if I could... If I could steal it, I would. That's why I put it on. I was afraid I, <laughs> I wouldn't have it to, to leave with if I didn't put it on. But I just wanted to show uh, another way to complete this outfit, was to put on a hat. And I could dress it up by taking off the scarf and putting on multiple strands of beads. And this would even go to a cocktail party. This dress is a very good style for wearing just about anywhere. You could wear this mm. to the office in the morning, take off the scarf, put on the beads, update your makeup, and go out to dinner. Okay. So let me show you some of the clothes we have here. This is the circle skirt I was talking about. See how wide this is. And I have with it the belt that is going to be a dropped belt. And you can take this off and wear it with pants too. The belts are not necessarily going to be at the waistline this year. Another one of these dresses, and notice how big the, the uh, knit dresses are this year with the arms, the dolman sleeves. Very comfortable. But you do have to be careful about the gear mm -hmm. and, and the and, hips. And not only that, to wear these clothes and then in the spring realize you have grown. Yeah. Because it was all concealed. How about and that? Look at these wonderful big pants. They're just, they're a little shorter in length, but nice and big in the hips. So that's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we better move this quickly because the camera will go crazy. This is evening wear. Very sparkly, as you can see. And look at the beautiful color and uh, the 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 fabric that's going to be used for evening wear with big belts to go with it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Isn't that luscious? And for sweaters, again, the big look. I, look this is the back. Nope, this is the back. Can y'all tell? I didn't <laughs> pick up on that. Huh. No back. That's, you're going to see a lot of that in sweaters this year. No back. Well, you know, I noticed in a lot of the fashions that the back is um, the focal point. Yes. In other words, um, the back goes down to the waist and mm -hmm. cut out and all these types of things. Okay. And the jewelry. Let's see if we oh. can. Uh, this, one thing? this is an earring. Can y'all pick up on this? Mm. Oh, Jer oh, yes. It looks wonderful on Jerry. Mm -hmm. A beautiful oh, earring. I want to show you with it. Oh, all right. Well, let me just put it on. I'm holding. There it is. In the case. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. With a choker to match, if you want to go with the choker. Uh, crystal beading will be very, very in. Uh, the rhinestone. Look at these big glass earrings or the dangly rhinestones. They'll be very, very big for evening wear. Big earrings in general. Uh, this is a wooden blue that would go perhaps I bet this. you a lot of people that save their costume jewelry from the 50s. All right, <laughs> 50s. all right. You said the right thing. But these, did you say these? These, yes. <laughs> <laughs> these are all old, but I saw these in the store. This is very in. This would go on the lapel of a jacket. If I, I have a jacket that would uh, go with this dress, as a matter of fact, and I would wear this on the lapel. Okay. And look at this. Isn't that wonderful? Now, this is new, but isn't that wonderful? I don't know whether the colors will be picked up. The one thing I've learned, not one thing, I've learned many things from Peggy, but don't throw away anything. That's now, fine. you know, if it's something that is just had it, you know, go ahead and get rid of it. But absolutely. Save things that will come back. Save things of quality, of good fabric or of a good design. If it's just plastic and uh, a definite fad, get rid of it and clean out your closet. But if it's quality or 
a copy of quality. Keep it. It'll come back. And here are some of the berets. And if we have time, let me, uh, they'll be very big. A good way, if you uh, want the big belt look without, uh, and, and you're getting frustrated about finding one that you like, get two belts of the same color and hook them together and wrap it around your waist and let it double over. Get one in a size that fits your waist and then one in a size that is too big for you. And it, drop it down and you'll have that, that big belt look without spending a lot of money. You can, I bought these for $2 each. Thank you, Peggy, very much. Peggy Striplin has been our guest today. I hope that you learned a lot today about fashions for New York, but also what we can do down here in the South. I want to remind you that on Monday, we're going to meet our new meteorologist. Try that word over. How about weatherman? Cliff Hill uh, for our uh, new station in our tall tower, and he is already doing the weather on WSLA, and then after the 29th of October, we will be WAKA. TV. So join us on Monday to meet Cliff Hill. Bye now.